Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. We'll start our topics today with the introduction to the e-commerce. The figure shown the periods of development of e-commerce from 1995 to 2015. As we can see that the electronic commerce has started at the mid of the 1990s, where this period was known as the dot-com boom. Many companies have transformed their conventional businesses into electronic commerce. The companies use the web to advertise their products, selling and purchasing the retail goods over the internet, and the stock market valuation for all the dot-com companies have reached their peak. However, in 2000, as we can see from the figure, known as the 2000, the crash of 2000, the dot-com crash observed many e-commerce companies were withdrawing from the industries, and the industries experienced the stock market crash. Sorry. The second wave of e-commerce beginning at 2003. The firms that had survived from the dot-com crash refined their business models, changing from technology-driven technology into business-driven approach. And eventually, they're seeing online sales continue to grow and producing profits to their businesses. Despite the economic recession in 2008, the second wave of e-commerce is run smoothly until today. Okay, e-commerce defined as the use of the internet, the web, and mobile application to transact business activities. There are terms that use interchangeably with the e-commerce, which is the e-business. The term of e-commerce and e-business has been used interchangeably where the term of e-business is used whenever people want to talk about the e-commerce in a wider sense. According to the Loden and Trevor, okay, as shown at the figure, the difference between e-commerce and e-business, e-commerce primarily involves transaction that cross the boundaries while e-business primarily involve the application of digital technologies to business processes within the firm. Why study e-commerce? The internet technology is different than previous technologies such as television or telephone. The internet technology more powerful in transforming the way of companies conducting their businesses to be more efficient and effective. Previously, the consumers have very limited access to the information of product or services because of the geographical barriers and social boundaries. They are unable to search widely for better prices and quality of product and services that are available on the market. And the e-commerce changed the fundamental of conducting businesses by bringing the consumers to the marketplace, disregard the places and time, or bringing the marketplace to the consumers. Thank you. We will continue to the next session.